The Reclaim system, with a 12 ton per hour capacity, supplied by the company Fata Aluminum, for years now a world leader in the aluminum foundry sector, is contained in a shed with these measurements. Length, 53 meters. Width, 13 meters. Height, 25 meters. And it covers a total inside-outside area of 1,800 square meters. The sand regeneration process is subdivided into three phases. First phase, mechanical treatment. Second phase, thermal treatment. Third phase, mechanical treatment. The reclaim system was designed and built for the regeneration of a sand mixture consisting of 40% scrap cores and 60% green sand. The preparation process starts with a truck that unloads the green sand into a 30-ton capacity receiving hopper. By means of a belt conveyor, the sand is sent to a bucket elevator. From the bucket elevator, the sand is dropped by gravity onto a vibrating feeder. Using a forklift truck, the fragments of cores to be crushed are loaded into a vibrating pre-crusher. The sand and core fragments are sent by means of a vibrating belt conveyor to the vibrating feeder that feeds the rotating lump crusher. The rotating lump crusher reduces the cores to sand, which then goes through a grill while the larger scrap pieces are scrapped during this initial phase. From the rotating lump crusher, the sand is sent to the bucket elevator. The bucket elevator supplies by gravity the double magnetic separator, which is assigned the task of eliminating any metal parts which may still be present. The sand is then stored in the silo for sand to be regenerated. The sand undergoes a mechanical treatment by means of two scrubbers in order to remove part of the active clay and the coal that covers the grains of sand. By means of a bucket elevator, the sand is then sent to the 50-ton capacity pre-reclaim silo of the furnace, which is positioned in the top section of the structure. The sand is then taken from the silo by means of a screw feeder and put inside the hot rack regeneration furnace. The hot rack furnace consists of a chimney stack, an upper hood, a calcination chamber, a couple of pre-cooling chambers, and an inlet chamber for the air ventilation. A series of thermocouples check the temperature of the fumes, of the air, and of the sand. Combustion of the gas inside the furnace is provided by two pilot burners equipped with an ionizing flame detector, kept constantly on for safety purposes. Inside the calcination chamber of the fluidized bed furnace, the sand to be regenerated is brought to a temperature between 600 and 800 degrees centigrade in order to burn all the resin and coal deposited on the grains of sand.
A special inspection hatch makes it possible to watch the combustion and fluidization of the sand inside the regeneration furnace. The upper hood has an internal volume suited to allow the gas to stay inside for at least two seconds. The chimney stack is used to channel the fumes exiting the furnace, mixing them with cool air so that they can be cooled down, passing through the pre-separator. The metal base plate of the furnace is equipped with nozzles for sand fluidization and nozzles for gas distribution so that the air and gas can be mixed directly inside the calcination chamber. A soundproof ventilation cabin is positioned underneath the furnace. Inside this cabin, two centrifugal fans are installed in order to fluidize the sand contained in the furnace and in the cooler. Special inspection hatches make it possible to watch the fluidization of the sand. The gas that supplies the furnace nozzles goes through a series of pressure reducers and solenoid valves prior to reaching the modulating valve that controls the gas flow rate in order to maintain the proper temperature inside the furnace. The sand cooler is designed to cool down and de-dust the sand coming from the furnace through the combined action of the water circulating inside the pipe bundle, of the air ventilation that fluidizes the sand bed, and of the exhaust system that eliminates the dust particles. The water circulating in the pipe bundle of the cooler is supplied by a group of pumps and by a cooling tower positioned on the outside in order to allow cooling of the sand down to a maximum temperature of 40 degrees centigrade. Upon exiting the sand cooler, the cooled sand is poured onto the final vibrating screen, which is used to separate any foreign particles. The final vibrating screen unloads the regenerated sand onto the bucket elevator, which by gravity feeds the double scrubber 15-ton capacity feed hopper. From the double scrubber feed hopper, the sand is sent to the two scrubbers of the dust extraction unit, which carry out the mechanical treatment of the regenerated sand, aimed at removing any dead clay and oolitic particles from the surface of the grains of sand. The chiller sends cold water to the pipe bundle of the final deduster. From the bee duster, the regenerated sand is unloaded, by means of the bucket elevator, into the regenerated sand silo positioned on the outside. From this 250-ton capacity silo, the regenerated sand is unloaded onto a truck so that it can be reused in the core shops. The cooling tower consists of a supporting structure made of fiberglass, a fan, a recirculating water collection tank made of fiberglass, a heating element located in the tank in order to keep the water temperature at plus four degrees centigrade. The fumes that exit through the chimney stack are channeled towards the pre-separator for the purpose of recovering any parts of sand that may still be present in the combustion fumes and pouring them into the sand cooler. The two lower levels inside the furnace, the first and second pre-cooling chambers, are used to recover heat from the sand in order to preheat the combustion fluidization air before it enters the calcination chamber. The fume and dust extraction filtration system sucks up the dust from the entire machinery and consists of the following elements. A support structure made of sturdy profiles, 
upper plenum in welded sheet metal used to extract the bags from the top, a central body in steel sheet metal for dusty air inlet, a series of filtering sleeves with the related baskets, a soundproof cabin that contains the centrifugal fan complete with a balanced impeller and protection guard. From a series of rotary valves of the bag house filter, the dusts are loaded onto the bucket elevator by means of a screw feeder. From the bucket elevator, the dusts are poured by gravity onto the 100 ton capacity silo for storing fines. From this storage silo, the dusts are loaded onto a truck so that they can be taken to a waste dump. The sand regeneration system is managed by electric equipment with the following configuration. One electric device for sand preparation consisting of three power modules and one logic module. One electric device for the sand reclaim recovery system consisting of five power modules and one logic module. One electric device for sand delivery consisting of three power modules and one logic module and one electric dust collector device consisting of three power modules and one logic module. An efficient supervisory system subdivided into various display pages assists the operator during the startup, management, and troubleshooting of the regeneration system. The main display pages are machine information, main sand reclaim, gas train and burners, Sand Preparation 1, Sand Preparation 2, Regenerated Sand Delivery, Cooling Tower Status, Dust Collector and Filter System, Machine Operation, Furnace Temperature, Production Status, All Alarms. The end of the startup phase with the customer's technicians, a training course is planned dedicated to the running and maintenance of the system. The main advantages of using the hot rec heat generation system are cost effective operation, drastic reduction in costs for purchasing new sand and the disposal of used sand. Automated operation, eliminating the need for continuous manning. Gaseous emissions and solid waste in full compliance with environmental protection requirements. The quality of the regenerated sand is equal to or even better than the origin of new sand. Regenerated sand with a low LOI value, less than 0.1%, and a constant and controlled standard of purposes. The sand is reusable without any need for additions of new sand for reuse in the process of origin except loss of a recovery. Fata Aluminum, for years now a world leader in the aluminum foundry sector, is a global company with plants in the United States, China, Mexico, and Italy, 
and it has always been oriented toward the improvement of quality and efficiency of its technology, processes, and value for the customer through a systematic and consolidated approach to partnership with all its major clients worldwide.